How many times have you been up on a roof covered in sweat and sawdust and thought to yourself, there's got to be a better way, I'm betting a lot, because in my experience there are few jobs tougher or more humbling than construction. It's hard work, requiring a unique combination of brains and brawn. You've got to be tough as nails, yet precise as a surgeon. So today we're going to get our hands dirty, metaphorically speaking, and dig into the 10 biggest problems facing the construction industry. More importantly, we're going to talk about solutions. Let's get to work. Let's face it, finding good help is tough. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack, and in construction it's tougher than a $2 steak. The physical demands and the need for precision make it even more challenging. The skills gap is real, folks. Many young people are not entering the trades, and those who do often lack the necessary skills. But before we throw our hard hats in the air and declare the trades officially dead, let's remember one thing. There's always hope. Every skilled worker was once an unskilled newbie, eager to learn the ropes. They started from scratch and built their way up. That's where mentorship comes in. It's the bridge between inexperience and expertise. I'm talking about good, old-fashioned, show-up-and-work mentorship, the kind where you learn by doing side-by-side -side with a pro. And give them a chance to learn from the best. That's you, by the way, but... And you might be surprised at what they can accomplish. They might even surpass your expectations. And hey, mentorship isn't just for the rookies. It's a continuous process. Got a seasoned pro on your team who's showing an interest in the business side of things? Mentor them up. Help them grow beyond their current role. Remember, knowledge is power, and sharing that power benefits everyone. It creates a stronger, more capable workforce. That's where option two comes in staffing agencies. They can provide the skilled workers you need, problem solved. Remember the game of telephone we played as kids? Yeah, well, communication breakdowns on a construction site are kind of like that, only with higher stakes. Miscommunication, missed deadlines and frustrated workers, it's a recipe for disaster. But fear not, my friends, because technology is here to save the day. These days, just about everyone has a smartphone glued to their hand. Email, text messages, even specialized construction apps. They all work together to keep everyone on the same page in real time. Need to update the crew on a change order, shoot them a text. Need to track progress on a specific task. There's an app for that, so ditch the two-way radios and uh, embrace the digital age. We've all been there, staring down a deadline, desperate for a plumber, an electrician, any warm body who can swing a hammer. The pressure is mounting and the clock is ticking. You're tempted to hire the first guy who answers the phone, but hold your horses. Rushing into a decision can be a costly mistake. Choosing the wrong subcontractor can lead to delays, shoddy work and a whole heap of headaches. Imagine having to redo an entire section because of poor craftsmanship. So how do you find a reliable sub? It's not as daunting as it seems if you know where to look and who to ask. Well, the best way is through good, old-fashioned word of mouth. Recommendations from trusted colleagues can be invaluable. Talk to your suppliers, your vendors, other contractors you trust. They often have a network of reliable professionals. Another tip, don't be afraid to ask for references. A reputable subcontractor will have a list of satisfied clients. Call them up, ask the tough questions and listen carefully to what they have to say. Their experiences can provide valuable insights. Remember, a little due diligence up front can save you a whole lot of grief down the road. It's worth the extra effort. And before you sign on the dotted line, make sure you've checked their licenses, their insurance, the whole shebang. Verify everything to avoid future complications. So choose wisely, my friend. A good subcontractor is worth their weight in gold and can make your project a resounding success. Time is money, especially in construction. Every delay, every setback eats into your profits and stresses everyone out. That's why having a solid schedule and sticking to it is crucial. But let's face it, juggling multiple subcontractors' deliveries and unexpected hiccups can feel like conducting an orchestra of chaos. Luckily, we live in the age of uh, project management apps. These digital marvels are like having a personal assistant for your construction project. They allow you to create detailed schedules, track progress, and even collaborate with your team in real time. With a good project management app, you can visualize your entire project timeline, set deadlines, assign tasks, and get instant notifications if something goes off track. So ditch the chaos and embrace the power of technology. High insurance costs 
Solved. Let's be honest, nobody likes talking about insurance. It's right up there with root canals and tax audits on the list of things we'd rather avoid. But the reality is, in the world of construction, insurance isn't just a good idea, it's a necessity. The problem is, those premiums can really put a dent in your profits. But fear not, my friend, because there are ways to lower those costs without sacrificing coverage. One of the best ways is to bundle your policies. Another tip, don't let your coverage lapse. And finally, make it a habit to review your policies every year. By shopping around and comparing quotes, you might be surprised at the savings you can find. The case of the changing homeowner, solved. Ah, homeowners, they're the heart and soul of our work. They're the reason we do what we do, the driving force behind every nail hammered and every brick laid. But let's be real, they can also be a major source of frustration. The kind that makes you want to pull your hair out, especially when they get hit with a bad case of the shanginitis. You know that sudden urge to change everything? You know what I'm talking about, that dreaded moment when they decide they want to move a wall, swap out the flooring or add a whole new room. And they want it done yesterday. After the project has already begun, it's enough to make any contractor's head spin. So, how do you protect yourself from this chaos? The answer, my friend, is simple. Change orders every single time, no exceptions. No matter how small the change, no matter how insignificant it may seem, no matter how chummy you are with the homeowner, get it in writing, always. I'm talking about a formal change order signed by both parties, outlining every detail, outlining the scope of the change, the cost, and the impact on the schedule. And the impact on the schedule. It's all about clarity and communication. Remember, a little paperwork up front can save you a whole lot of heartache and lawyer fees down the road. It's worth it. Cash flow is the lifeblood of any business, but in construction it can feel more like a roller coaster ride. You're constantly juggling expenses, materials, labor, permits, while waiting for those invoices to get paid. So how do you keep the cash flowing smoothly? One word, credit. Having a dedicated line of credit specifically for your business is like having a financial safety net. It gives you access to funds when you need them, bridging those gaps between payments and keeping your projects on track. Shop around, compare rates and terms, and find one that works for your business. Remember, a healthy cash flow means you can cover expenses, pay your employees on time, and even take advantage of new opportunities. Construction projects generate a mountain of paperwork. Contracts, permits, invoices, change orders, you name it. Keeping track of it all can feel like a full-time job and losing even one crucial document can lead to delays, disputes and even legal trouble. But fear not, my friend, because there's a better way. Document management software is here to save the day. These digital filing cabinets allow you to scan, store and organize all your important documents in one secure location. No more lost invoices, no more frantic searches for that signed contract. So ditch the filing cabinets and embrace the power of digital organization. Construction projects are like giant puzzles with multiple moving parts and personalities. And sometimes when things go wrong, it can feel like everyone's pointing fingers. The plumber blames the electrician, the electrician blames the framer, and everyone blames the general contractor. It's a recipe for disaster leading to delays, cost overruns, and damaged relationships. But here's the thing, blame doesn't fix anything. It just creates a toxic environment where everyone loses. So how do you avoid the blame game? Well, it starts with communication. When everyone is on the same page, understands their roles and responsibilities, and feels comfortable speaking up when there's a problem, it's much easier to address issues before they escalate into finger-pointing contests. Another key ingredient, documentation. So when something goes wrong, you can refer back to the facts rather than relying on hearsay and accusations. The construction industry is constantly evolving. New materials, new technologies, and yes, new regulations are constantly popping up. Keeping up with it all can feel like a full-time job, but it's crucial to your success. Because let's face it, ignorance is not a valid legal defense. So how do you stay ahead of the curve? Well, the first step is to acknowledge that you don't know everything. There are plenty of resources available to help you stay informed. Start by subscribing to industry publications and blogs. 
another great resource, your local and national construction associations. Remember, staying informed is an ongoing process, but it's an investment in your business's future. So there you have it, folks. 10 of the biggest problems in construction tackled and hopefully demystified. Look, I'm not gonna lie, this business ain't for the faint of heart. It's tough, it's demanding, and it'll test every ounce of your grit and determination. But it's also rewarding, challenging, and at the end of the day, you get to stand back and look at something you built with your own two hands. Now, get out there, build something amazing, and remember, if it breaks, you can fix it.